My heart is just so filled with love right now. Our heart and soul has gone into this building and I hope you feel that when you come in. When we first started building this, the first question we asked was, what does equity look like in a building? Honestly, nobody could answer that question. So we had to figure it out together and that's what we've done. Because we had the team from the very beginning, we were all on board with the vision. So we were always thinking about equity. We were always thinking about what can a school look like? And what does it mean when we involve more people? And we involve more voices that traditionally aren't heard. So James Baldwin Elementary was born out of the need to replace Northgate Elementary School. We learned about the fact that a lot of the students here were experiencing homelessness. And we really brainstormed about how can the built environment in a school like this really help those kind of students? So when we started to meet the principal and the staff at Northgate, we were just amazed about their dedication and caring for their students and community. There were a lot of challenges that the students and families were facing, but our wonderful guiding light, the principal at the time, Dr. Dee Dee Flaunt Leroy, just kept reminding us that no matter what, the students are 100% awesome. A lot of the kids would be from communities of color, at-risk communities, special ed communities, and we wanted to give them an environment where they felt at ease and welcome, appreciated, and they were, where they would be inspired to learn. As we heard about the desire for this building to not feel institutional, we asked the committee, well, what does an institutional building seem like to you? And they said, these long hallways and a whole bunch of doors, it does not have a welcoming sense to it. So we worked with them and we developed this idea that one, there'd be this curving path that would kind of link the whole building, but then off of that path would be these smaller pods that all weave off of the main hallway. So there's never this sense of kind of, you are isolated off in just that grade level pod. There's an ability to flow and flex. The other challenge we were tasked with was the goal of having all students read at grade level by grade level three. How can we have a building that helps us achieve that? A lot of design components became centered around that concept. The library is front and center, but beyond just the library as like a destination to go read and get books and that sort of thing, we really wanted the books to come to the students as well by having little free libraries all over the place. One of the things that really inspired me was an African-American girl who would run out of class with her blanket from, the, from Mary's place. And she would get in a corner and just cover herself with the blanket. And I said, you know, she's okay there. We just gotta leave her alone because she needs to feel safe under her own environment. So that idea transferred over to this new building where kids can go find a little space of their own until they feel relaxed to go back to class with no pressure. So another element that we incorporated in the design of the building was what we came to call the screen of luminaries. And it's actually two areas in the building where we have display panels where there are interchangeable slots where the staff can put in images and names and text celebrating people who've made a difference, whether they are artists or activists or musicians, scientists. Then the next step on that was not just highlighting them, but putting mirrors in among those images so that the students could look at themselves in the mirror and see themselves amongst those luminaries. For me, this was the most beautiful example of teamwork and public school design that you can name. We had very serious conversations and then we'd meet again in a month or something and there'd be a complete design change that exactly addressed what had been the previous concern. It's a community magnet. We could have never envisioned how amazing this turned out. This is a community space and it feels that way. When we first started building this, um, the first question we asked was, what does equity look like in a building? This is what equity looks like <laughs> in a building. 